Welcome to boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time. Today it's the Mason Ho little, little wing from Lost, but in the LibTech construction. Been released at the same time, which is uh, strange because they don't normally do that, but let's have a little spin around it. It's a cracking little board, obviously. Um, <clears throat> you can see, pretty flat rocker. It's a small to mid-wave performance board designed to make the most out of average E conditions and give you more performance than your average grovel and what have you. So you can see it's pretty pretty flat all the way through, late rocker, low entry rocker at the front there, and then just flips right at the end of the nose. A um, Little bit more rocker out through the tail to keep it loose and fun. On the underside, there's a single concave running through the middle here to generate a bit of lift to give you more speed. And then through the fins here, there's more of a double concave uh, pretty much the deepest concave you get in the whole loss range, which again is there to give you release into turns. And you can see the tail pulls in nicely and there's a little hip here just by the fins, again to give you this pivot point uh, to help you release the board in turns and to in increase the speed through the turns as well. Um, Mason Ho, you've all seen the videos, he obviously he's a bit of a nutter. Um, he likes surfing mainly if he's guaranteed to hurt himself, but never quite seems to, which is a bit of a mystery. But this board is designed um, to give that element of high performance surfing and make the most of really marginal conditions. This is a 510 and it's just over 30 litres, so it's not overly generous in its volume, but the board feels like it's got a bit of float in it. <clears throat> so it feels like it's going to paddle well, get you in relatively early. And this is the newest LibTech construction, it's called Technopop. Um, it's the lightest, strongest, and most responsive in their range to date, and you'll probably see a load of other models coming in this too. The main visible feature, um, obviously, is these carbon strips, top and bottom, and they're designed to give the uh, improved dampening in the board so the flex is more even. Donkey's years ago, when LibTech first started, the boards felt really overly stiff, but they've worked on that dampening through the years, and they've got it much, much better with each new generation of boards. And this being the most recent one is the most responsive and doesn't have that stiffness element to it, to it at all. There's loads and loads of info online about the um, LibTech uh, construction, how the eco-friendly nature of it and stuff. I won't go into it now because it would take me about an hour to go through all the individual factors. But they are making a real effort um, using recycled materials and how they, the, the resins they use to minimize the impact on the environment, which let's face it, as surfers can only be a, a, only be a good thing because we want clean seas to surf in. So um, the Mason Ho Little Wing, collab between Lost and LibTech in this excellent new techno pop construction. If you're looking for um, a performance type board to make the most of poorer conditions, you know, if you think about the mini goes from Pizel, that kind of um, area of board, then this is a really good option. And obviously being in the LibTech, uh, it's great for traveling. It's not gonna get damaged. Great also for the wave pulls when you inevitably hit the wall or someone else, um, you're gonna minimize all those damage factors as well. It's online right now, 0% finance available, um, park exchange boards welcome, and uh, no customs obviously, but if you need any more information, you know where to come.